exam. Today we are going to cover the third unit of NCRT Geography Class 6 which is Motions of Earth. Without further delay, let's get into the chapter. Our Earth has two types of motion. One is rotation and the other one is revolution. Before learning these concepts, we should know what is motion. Motion is nothing but when an object or a body changes its position along with time. Here the object denotes Earth and Earth's position in the solar system causes day and night and also forms seasons on Earth. Now let's get into the concept of Earth's motion. When Earth spins on its own axis, we call it rotation. At the same time, when Earth is spinning on its own axis, it also revolves around the Sun in an elliptical orbit. We say this as revolution and there is no deviation in its path. Earth is tilted on the poles. An imaginary line which we have named axis shows how tilted our Earth is. The two ends where this axis passes are said as poles of Earth. We name them as North and South Pole. We draw another imaginary line in vertical and horizontal positions, geographically said as orbital plane. Axis makes an angle of 66.5 degree with Earth's horizontal orbital plane and 23.5 degree with Earth's vertical orbital plane. In summing them together, it makes 90 degree angle. Earth is spinning on its own axis. Due to its spherical shape, Earth receives sunlight only to one of its side at a time. This causes day and night. An imaginary line that separates day from night on Earth is called circle of illumination. The imaginary line is an actual imaginary circle that separates day and night. As Earth is round in shape, that's why we call it circle of illumination. Also know, Earth rotates from west to east and it takes 24 hours to complete its one rotation. We have seen Earth is spinning on its own axis. At the same time, it also revolves around the sun. Earth takes 365 and a quarter day to complete one revolution. For our easy convenience, we have kept 365 days in a year and the rest quarter day which is an additional 6 hours a year when multiplied with 4 gives 24. That's why we have one extra day every 4 years and name it as leap year which has 366 days. Have you ever thought what happens if earth stops rotating? A portion of earth always remains dark and cold and other portion remains hot and sunny. Life is not possible on such extreme conditions. Now let's see about earth seasons. The revolution of earth around sun gives seasons and it is an annual cycle. We have four seasons, the summer, it is the hottest season of the year. The winter, it often brings chillness, some areas may experience snowfall. The spring, it is a time when flowers bloom and leaves start to develop and plants replicate. The autumn, it is a harvest time and often leaves fall from trees. How seasons change? They change due to earth's position around sun. Let's see how. Here you can see earth's position around sun at different times of the year. As earth being a third closest planet to sun, sunlight falls on earth all the time. On June 21st, earth's north pole, that is earth's northern hemisphere, is tilted towards the sun. Recall the parallels of latitude which we have seen in second chapter. As Tropic of Cancer lie on Northern Hemisphere, it receives maximum sunlight. Thus, Northern part of Earth has summer while Southern Hemisphere enjoys winter. When Earth's North Pole is tilted towards Sun, the longest day of the year occurs on June 21st and hence it's called Summer Solstice. There are two solstices each year, one in June and other in December. The time of solstice is same all over the planet but the season depends on where you are on Earth, that is either on northern hemisphere or on southern hemisphere. In reverse, on December 22nd, Earth's south pole is tilted towards sun. This gives summer in southern hemisphere and winter in northern region. Do you know, Australia celebrates Christmas during summer. Also, the shortest day of the year occurs on December 22nd in northern hemisphere and we call this day as winter solstice. On March 21st and September 23rd, sun rays passes directly over the equator. On these days, the entire planet receives equal day and night. We call this day as equinox. During March, the northern hemisphere has spring season and southern hemisphere enjoys autumn. And in September, the northern hemisphere receives autumn and southern hemisphere has spring season. That's all about Earth's position and season. We'll see you on the next good video. Please give a thumbs up and subscribe.